<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Cocktail Three Way. And as you can see, we're gonna go with the Halloween theme today. I am not just deranged. I am deranged. Anyways, I digress. So I don't know about you, but here we have gotten the official word that there is to be no trick or treating, no fun, no nothing for Halloween. So I figured why not take candy and turn it into a cocktail? And then I can sit at home and drink my candy in a costume and have the most fun all by myself. Today we're using everybody's favorite candy to hate, candy corn. I think I might be the only grown adult who actually loves candy corn. It tastes just like pure sugar. So we're gonna use candy corn to make candy corn inspired cocktails today. It's so sweet. If I like it, I mean I can have one piece and then I'm like, wow, that was just straight diabetes. We're gonna do a candy corn flavored inspired cocktail and it's gonna be delicious. Follow along. Okay, so I know I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing. I just keep telling myself that and it becomes real. I know candy corn is a lot, but it's quintessential. And do you know how quintessential it is? It's so quintessential that Pez made candy corn Pez. It doesn't really get more poignant than uh, one candy ripping off another. So, ooh, that is way better than that. We're gonna do candy corn infused vodka, which if you watch this clip right here, hi, thanks Kristen from the future. I will take over and do all your prep work for you. Really quick, really easy candy corn infused vodka. Comment if you like candy corn too is equal parts candy corn and vodka. You put it all together and you shake it all about. You do the whole thing and you turn yourself around. And in a week, future Kristen, you'll be able to make your cocktail. And if you make it a week before, it has time to turn this really natural orange color so you know it's good. But for the basic, because we all want to eliminate all of the steps so that we can drink as fast as possible, we're gonna build it step by step right here for you. So the beginner. One handful of candy corn, one ounce of vodka, and I mean, if you have little kids running around who are freaking out because they can't go trick or treating, maybe two ounces. Do what you gotta do. Give it a good shake. Pour in your pineapple juice. Sure, that looks great. Put ice in it. And ta-da! Your beginner candy corn, pineapple, delicious beverage for the evening. You're welcome. We're gonna kick things up a notch for the intermediate. We need a shaker for this one. We're gonna do, you know what? I don't know why I'm pretending like I memorized this. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, one ounce of pineapple juice. One ounce of ginger beer. That was a twist off, I just did that to be extra. Two ounces of the infused vodka. Taste it just to make sure it's good. These are gonna be so deadly because they don't taste like there's any booze in them at all. One, two, throw some ice in your shaker. Because there's ginger beer, you don't really wanna shake it like crazy because it'll end up going everywhere. So just until the outside of the shaker feels cold, which it does. Ta-da! A nice chilled glass. Pretty. And sure, why not? Let's garnish this bad boy. Or not. There you go. You're welcome. To amp up the advanced one, we're going to do two extra things that we didn't do to the intermediate. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice. Not a lot. And then we're gonna float the vodka on top but we're gonna layer it in black and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. All right, shall we assemble into the shaker? There we go. For actual fuck's sake. All right, we need an ounce of the pineapple juice, an ounce of the ginger beer, half an ounce of the orange. Shake it with some ice. Attempt to clean up while you're shaking because you realize that you've made an absolute disaster of everything. Give up because it got too cold to hold. Okay, so let's talk about a couple things with this one. In the assembly, we're gonna layer it in like we've done before, but we are also gonna add some glitter 
edible glitter, because Halloween, when else can you use glitter? And we're going to use activated charcoal. Please listen closely to the following disclaimer. Activated charcoal is charcoal that has been processed to be more porous and is used to absorb substances to prevent them from being absorbed into the bloodstream and as such can have the following effects. It can absorb the minerals and vitamins from your food, can absorb medications including birth control, can lead to constipation, black shits, and slowing of your digestive system. It will not absorb alcohol and you will still get drunk. Basically, it shouldn't hurt you, but it can, so be careful and ask a doctor if you're not sure. So we're gonna use activated charcoal to make it black. If you have actual black vodka, maybe use that instead. But I didn't, so I figured a little probably wouldn't hurt. And in order to do that, you're going to put a little bit of the edible glitter, just shake it into the glass, and we'll put a bit in the vodka as well so that the vodka shimmers, why not? You're gonna take just a tiny, tiny bit, add it to the glass, and give it a nice swirl. So half of the vodka is gonna be black and sparkly and it's gonna sit on top of the drink and it's gonna look really cool. The other half of the vodka, because it's two ounces, is gonna go into the shaker and be shaken up with all of those ingredients. And then it'll be time for our taste test. Just gonna eyeball an ounce. That felt right to me. Multitasking, oh it's cold, okay. And now, my least favorite and possibly the thing I am worst at Okay, so, something I probably should have thought about before I attempted to do this. This vodka is like syrup, so obviously it's gonna be heavier. So real quick, just gonna, just gonna remake that with some infused vodka that's just vodka. And if you ever wondered if I was a professional bartender, you can quite clearly see that the answer is no. It is so cool to watch. I put way too much glitter in, and it is just like so gray now. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more charcoal. Just in case you weren't paying attention during my disclaimer, charcoal will not stop you from getting drunk. So get constipated and drunk at your own discretion. Shall we try again? Much better! Almost like science! Before, after. Your advanced beverage, you are welcome. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed fucking that up a little bit. I'm a little nervous to taste these, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was trying to come up with the idea of like what would a fun in lieu of trick-or-treating cocktail be? I was like, well, candy corn's super sweet, but then I remembered I hate sweet cocktails, so this could be, this could be interesting. Let's lay. I think I want my hat. Hello. Yonder. Oh. I don't know why I Hello. said yonder. Yeah, no, that was Yonder. Cool. Oh my god, you did your makeup like a witch. Is that? Cool. No, no yeah. you didn't? This is a uh, foreshadowing for Wesley later. <laughs> Wes, do you like candy corn? Uh, I, I hadn't had it till I was an adult. I never had it as a kid. He means that I introduced him to it because I yep. low-key got addicted to it one year. Now I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love it. So I think good. it's too sweet for me It's just the first cocktail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good neighborhood for growing, like trick-or-treating when you were growing up? Yeah. People got really into it? Back with pickup truck. You can walk because everything's spaced out. Back uh, with pickup truck. Every, all the kids. The jump out of people's houses, run up. Feel, oh yeah, lots oh, of kids. Oh, that's awesome. Our neighborhood growing up was like equally good for kids and adults because mm. at every house uh, there'd be something for the kids and then something for the adults. So like when you trick or treat, you come with your tumbler um, and whatever you're drinking or like you finish what you're drinking and then you go to the next place, there's like wine, whiskey, one guy made great. like boozy freezies. Yeah, that's he, amazing. Yeah, I used to babysit for him. He used to give those to me when I was like 14. It was awesome. If you're watching this, you were a creep, but it was great. <laughs> Uh, it checks out a little differently when you're not 14 anymore. Right? Like, like oh. you show me how to make them. Yeah, maybe you don't give your 14 year old busy freezies. Anyways, I'm just putting off drinking. I'm not. Let's go. Okay. Beginner. Bring your candy no. corn. Here we go. Holy shit balls. Is it just sugar and ice? Oh, it's pineapple. Okay, I was like, whoa, that one. Yeah. 
It, it, to me, it just tastes like pineapple juice and goodness. That's deadly. Yeah. So if you're 14 and looking <laughs> for a great introduction to drinking, this is your goat. Wow. Yeah. It's it's straight up like. I imagine yeah. though, the further down you get, the sweeter it's gonna get. Oh, probably. Like just straight. Sugar. Oh yeah, because you made this yeah. one first too. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So it's like they just dissolve in the alcohol. They just fall apart. I, don't I know. am really not looking forward to this one. <laughs> I'm gonna save that for a minute. Okay. <sighs> All right, the intermediate. Let's do that one. This one's pretty. I like the orange. It's so pretty. It's very festive. That tastes nothing like I thought it was gonna taste like. Okay. Whoa. That tastes like a legit cocktail. Yeah, it's not even nearly as sweet as you that thought. That tastes like if you... What, it's got, it like reminds a me creamsicle? Something. Yeah. Yeah, if you made a creamsicle into like a cocktail. A, but like a more bitter one somehow. Yeah, it's great. Why has it got that bitterness or something? That's vodka. Oh. Dang. Oh, and it could be like <laughs> the little bite of ginger beer. Oh, that's what it is. It's the ginger beer I'm, I'm getting. Oh. It tastes just like a creamsicle. Holy shit, that's good. It's amazing. It's like a gr this is a grown ass person's drink. This Guys, is a good drink. This is a drink. Fuck being stuck inside for Halloween. We have you covered. Put on your most ridiculous outfit and just drink those two. I don't even like this one's cool. It's pretty. I, I feel like this is gonna be the winner. How, how come? What happened to the other glasses? I thought we had. I thought you had standard standardized glasses. No, they changed based on type. Oh, I, I don't pay attention. Okay. <laughs> so these two glasses are the same. Do they look the same? Not anymore. Okay, never mind. Forget He's I said really that. He's really good at this. Also, just to note, we have in our house 20 champagne flutes. Look how shiny this is. It's so sparkly. Whoa, I don't know. I did not focus well, but I don't care. I'm going to try it. It's all vodka at the top. You might want to stir it. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> <sighs> Holy. <laughs> Tastes like plastic vodka. Oh, yeah, that's oh. better. Oh. <laughs> oh. Quick, take a sip of that. Jesus. It just looks pretty. You gotta make it oh look my ugly God. before you drink it. I would rather have the turkey thing again. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you legit let me drink that. You didn't even just, oh my God. It's really shiny now. It's boring. It's just not as good. It looked great. It did. It looked great. This is the one. Yeah. First time winner intermediate. Yeah. That I mean, why does it taste like that? I don't know. <laughs> the orange juice maybe fucked it up. It's just it's fine. It's just really sweet yeah, and boring. It, oh, it's totally fine. And if, and if you didn't have this one in here, I would think that's great. But honestly, it kind of went like one, two, three, right? Like second yeah, yeah. place right yeah, here. Yeah, the, the, the advanced is definitely just a party trick. Yeah, it's cool looking, um, but. So it's what, not worth it. Drink uh, this one. And then, then drink this, one. this no, one. And then you'll drink that one, you won't care. Yes, correct. You'll just look like oh, You like will also feel like absolute death in the morning. But don't care about that either. Yeah. Alright, well, All right. I'll just go here. Oh, that's oh. the one I wanted. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's so nice. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you stay safe and enjoy. Uh, if you liked this, great, like it. And if you would like to see something else, maybe another spooky cocktail for actual Halloween, leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I just passed a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. That's amazing. It's just unreal. Thank you for joining me on this amazing trip. It's wild and I love it. Yeah, happy drinking, stay safe, stay healthy. Happy Halloween.